To home. We are on storm watch this noon. Yes, meteorologist Larissa Breu joins us with the latest on a possible nor'easter that's headed our way this weekend. That's headed our way. And 31 inches, that's definitely not in the forecast, at least not for us. But we could still see significant snow out of this, at least parts of the region. So we'll have a little bit more on that a little later. But I want to start us off with what's happening outdoors right now. It's nice and quiet, but boys, it's still cold out there. Temperatures are only in the 20s and 30s across the region. And this hardy northwest wind is keeping those wind chills in the teens so far this afternoon. The good news about today is that it's been bright and that'll be the case for the rest of the afternoon. By Thursday, we're looking at quiet conditions to remain a factor. It's still going to be nice and bright out there. Maybe a little more cloud cover, but that's it. Temperature is still cold, right around 32 degrees. And then as we head towards Friday, we're starting off the end of the week quiet, but clouds will increase. And then by the afternoon, we're going to see the first flakes fly and this is independent of that nor'easter that will be moving in by Friday night. So a few scattered afternoon sh uh, snow showers expected and that's all in relation to a cold front that will be draped over the region. Now we're tracking this low and I know everyone has its eyes glued on what's going to happen. We've been tracking it and we are going to see this system form here as we head towards Friday and the timing of it all for our neck of the woods late Friday night through Saturday Saturday night, so Saturday all day event for us. Location region wide, but especially area south and east of the I 95 corridor. We could be tracking plowable snow, and we could even be tracking higher amounts than that out towards uh, New Jersey and the coast. Impacts are not limited to heavy snow, strong winds. In addition to major travel delays, we're going to see widespread snow out of this, and it's going to cause some problems. So let's go ahead and talk about potential outcomes. Now, it's a possible nor'easter, and we are going to see a little bit of mixing, especially along the coast early on, and this again with that cold front locked in place. But with this nor'easter, it's just all snow for our region, so what you need to plan for is accumulating snow and whipping winds. Notice the timing, 11 p.m., the system is beginning to lift north, and notice how all of that snow begins to fall here as early as Friday evening, continuing overnight on Saturday, and in into early parts of into early parts of Sunday and then finally pulling away. Now tracking this nor'easter, here is what we are deciding. Here's what we're thinking, I should say. Now changes are possible, but the heaviest snow confined to the coast, plowable snow along I-95, and the lightest snow will remain confined far north and west. Your seven-day forecast shows we are officially on snow alert day, so just keep that in mind for Friday and Saturday.